Applied Algebra. Here's your day 11 AMI. Um, your day 11 AMI has to do with polynomials. And polynomial is just a fancy word for a many termed expression. Um, and we have many terms. Um, we're simplifying to start off with. We're going to start with addition. Um, this is super easy. Don't let it freak you out just because there's a lot of terms in here. Really, all we're doing is combining like terms. Okay, so I have some like terms here. Um, I have constants. That's 6 and that negative 7. Those are constants. I have some a squared. So this negative 5a squared and this 2a squared. Those are like terms. And then um, lastly, I have some cubes in here. So 2a cubed and 3a cubed. Those are like terms also. And really all I'm doing is just combining my like terms. Um, I'm going to start off with my cubes. Anytime we write these in um, standard form, it's always going to go from the highest exponent down to a number that may not have an exponent at all and, and down to your constant, which is what we have here. So I'm going to start with my cubes. I have 2a cubed plus, and we're doing addition, 2a cubed plus 3a cubed gives me 5a cubed, okay? Then we're going to move to my next lower um, exponent. So I'm going to do my squareds. Um, negative 5a squared plus a 2a squared. So a negative 5a squared plus a 2a squared. That gives me a negative 3a squared. And then lastly, I'm going to do my constants. 6 minus 7 to get minus 1. Okay, so now let's look at subtraction. Um, if I'm subtracting polynomials, this is where you have to be kind of aware of what you're doing. Okay, this minus right here has to be distributed through this second set of parentheses. So we know that even though it's not written in here, that's a negative 1 right there, where we have that minus sign. So before I do anything, I have to distribute that negative 1 all the way through my parentheses. So I've got x plus 3x to the 4th minus 2x squared, and I'm going to distribute these parentheses. Actually, I don't even need those there. I don't know why I put them. Um, this negative 1. So negative 1 times a 5x squared gives me negative 5x squared. Negative 1 times negative 2 to the 4th makes that a positive 2x to the 4th. And a negative 1 times a positive x makes that a negative x. Okay, now that I've distributed, then I'm just combining like terms. I'm going to look for the terms that have the highest coefficients first. Okay, so I have a 3x to the 4th right here and a 2x to the 4th right there. So I'm going to add those together to get 5x to the 4th. My next lowest coefficient, I don't have a cubed, so I'm just going to move on down to the squared. Moving on down to the squared. Oh, moving on down to the Mm. All right, negative 2x squared minus 5x squared. So negative 2x squared minus 5x squared gives me a negative 7x squared. And then lastly, I have my x's. And x minus x gives me a big whopping 0. Okay, and I don't have to put that on there. So there's my final answer. Okay, and then lastly, we have just finding a product. Um, this is going to work pretty much just like distributing normally, um, except you have to be aware of your exponents. So right now, um, this y has an exponent of 1, even though it's not written there, it has an exponent of 1. And we are just going to distribute this 2y all the way through our parentheses. So 2y times y squared, wherever we multiply with exponents, we add 
or we multiply variables with exponents, we add the exponents. So 2y times y, this exponent of 1 plus that exponent of 2 gives me a 2y cubed. Um, 2y times 3y, well this also has an exponent of 1 right there. 2 times 3 is 6 y squared. And then lastly, 2y times a negative 4. That's going to be a negative 8y. There's no y here. I don't have to worry about adding exponents. I'm just distributing and multiplying normally. And I don't have anything to combine. So there's my answer.